PDXCon 2018, a selected group got a glimpse at Imperator Rome behind closed doors for about 15 minutes. Game director Johan Anderson ran through a breakdown of the game at its current stage, going over some of the basic overall features of the game. Today, we'll take a look at the resources you'll be using and the significance of pops in the game with a tiny bit of actual gameplay thrown in from the preview. In Imperator Rome, there will be eight different resources to manage. On the left, we have the four powers that will control how your empire progresses throughout your campaign. Civic leads the way for laws, inventions, and ideas, the infrastructure that will keep your faction together. Oratory deals with diplomacy, no doubt having a great impact on both newly met factions, as well as relationships with the older ones, and possibly in dealing with your own generals and governors. Military works with the traditions of your army and military commanders. And lastly, religion controls the omens of your faction. Religion has been confirmed not to be a big player in the base game, though do look out for future DLC to vamp it up. You gather these powers through having good stats with the ruler of your faction, as well as matching certain ideas that fall in line with your government types. Any Europa Universalis player has seen the gold, manpower, and stability resources, but I'll run through them for anyone unfamiliar. Gold is how you build buildings and recruit men for your army, where you'll have to factor in paying for your army as well. Manpower is how many men are available to be recruited into your army, which is influenced by how many of a certain pop is in your empire, something we'll get to in a minute. The last factor is tyranny. Tyranny gives you an idea of just how oppressive you've been. Roll too hard with an iron fist and expect unrest and civil wars to spring up in your lands. Pops are going to be unique to Imperator Rome, according to the game director. As mentioned previously, every single pop will represent its own culture and happiness, giving a bit of micro-element to managing them. Pops come in four classes regardless of the faction. Citizens, which will give you research and commerce buffs. Freemen provide manpower. And tribesmen provide a little bit of manpower and a little bit of tax, while slaves simply provide gold. There is population growth factors that can multiply the pops in your provinces. And should you sack or conquer a city and take slaves, they'll go to your capital first. Then I assume it'll be spread throughout the cities that need them. There will also be a manual pop promotion giving you the option to promote pops further up the pop ladder at the expense of certain resources. Though, do keep in mind that you'll want to balance the ratio of these pop types, that way you don't go broke because you've upgraded all your slaves into citizens. That's about it for now on both resources and pops. Of course, as development goes on, I'm sure we'll find more details on just how to generate both specific resources, as well as how to manage the pops in our empire. Do hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the resource and pop system in the comment section down below. Subscribe and turn notifications on for future videos. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.